everyone. It's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. How was your day today? Mine was extremely busy in a different kind of way. I got up this morning. I actually got up about 5, I think it was 5.15. It was really early. And I decided that I would not have a cup of coffee when I got up. I would wait and try to wait as long as I could. And then I was watching um, Keto Marnie, the Keto Crocheter. I was watching her, and she was talking about holding off until I think it was 9 or 9.30. She was going to try to hold off. And then she decided to hold off a little longer. And I thought, you know, I'm crocheting. I might as well just keep crocheting and never mind about having any coffee. Then I was watching Pamela from... Um, Pamela's Adoring Crochet. I had to think a minute. And I was watching um, Mark, the Arkansas Woodcutter, and I was watching, oh gosh, I don't remember all that I watched. I watched a lot of people. I don't want to name them all, but I, I watched the Plain Vanilla Grandma. I, I watched a lot of people. I'm not going to put all of their tag or the, their links below because oh, it's, it's such a chore. I don't feel like doing it. But anyways, I watched a lot of people. I watched Farmer G. And he was trying to test his aquaponics water. And the only testing we've ever done is the swimming pool. So I have no help for him. I'm just, I hope somebody can help him. Because he really needed to figure out why his water was not reading like he thought it should read. And things weren't doing like they should. Well, then I was watching just before I came out. I started watching Voon Child, and she was dehydrating, and I was thinking, you know, I'm dehydrating too, but I'm, dehyd I'm dehydrating um, apples and oranges, and let me put the little link in right here, or I mean not the link, the little video right here. Well, today I was watching Voon, and before I was watching Voon, I was, I went to my daughter's to help clean up some stuff and she had some old oranges and old apples there and I thought I'll just bring them home and dehydrate them so that's what I'm doing at this moment you can hear the dehydrator running I'm going to unplug it and show you what I've got inside there silence is golden as I have a Nesco I bought this at a lawn sale and it was brand new when I bought it. And inside I have apples that I have cut up. And I have oranges that I have sliced. And I'm just letting them go. I don't know how long this will take, but it will take a while, I'm sure. So I've got apples and oranges and I'm dehydrating these. Anyways, I had never done apples and oranges. I have done salami, and salami tastes oh so good. It tastes like pepperoni when you get done um, dehydrating it. But I thought, you know, I would try and do this oranges and apples. I was over to my daughter's house, and these apples and oranges were getting really old, and I thought, you know, it's a waste to throw them out. So I thought, well, maybe I could dehydrate them. So. This is what my day was like, to be honest. I, I got up, I was telling you, I went, oh gosh, I went all over the place. And I went mm -hmm. to, I, I, I do that all the time. So the different ones that never finish their sentence, like um, Pam, I watched her too. <laughs> I watched a lot of people. And um, she was talking about how, um, I don't remember what she was talking about because I don't remember. I did watch her though and she was, um, I don't know, saying something about not finishing your sentences and I did the same thing. But anyways, what I did is I got up, it was like quarter after five or somewhere in there, it was early. And I waited till it was, oh gosh, about 9.30 and then I decided I would go in to see my grandkids that to because their mom has to work and and because she's at work you know when the cat's away the mice will play i've heard that saying before well that's sort of like the kids and their mama's not there to oversee and so they're old enough to 
um, be by themselves. The the oldest daughter, oldest one. I don't know whether to call her a daughter or what to call her. I have a grand person that wants to be a boy or feels Sometimes. more like a boy but she's real but it's really a girl by biological so I don't know I and and, and so I get confused I don't know what to say so I, I just call think, her person <laughs> I don't think she's I don't think she knows, knows. what she wants either at no. this point but anyways I went there and um the uh, page was supposed to clean her room. I saw the note that the mom leaves. The mom leaves a note every day of what their duties are. They were supposed to empty the dishwasher and to put the breakfast food away and to page special, clean your room. And um, I think that was probably pretty much and to keep the living room picked up and not make a mess, which they did. It was still neat. It was nice and clean. Well, I went over there and I had Kyle help me empty the dishwasher because I don't know where all the dishes go and so he was kind of goofing off and saying I can hold a I can hold this fork like this and I go oh just never mind just put that away get the stuff put away because I needed to what it was is I needed to put the dishes away and I needed a foot uh, step stool because I can't reach and he was dilly dallying and I was all done with what I was doing and I needed to move on and he was goofing and I didn't have time for the goof so he just, I told him, hurry up and put those away. Just put them away. So I put them away, and then um, I put the dishes away, and I had to ask him where a couple of them went. And he goes, I don't know. I don't do that. And I go, well, it's about time you learned, because I need to know where to put them. So I put some stuff. Hopefully they're in the right place. And the things I don't know, I left them on the counter so that my daughter can put them away later. Then I went upstairs and I said, Paige, are you sleeping? And she says, no, she was awake. And I says, well, you know, your mom left a note that you've got to clean your bedroom. So she and I, I says, oh, my goodness. I don't know if you've ever had kids that you can't even find the floor anymore. When I had the foster kids, that used to happen all the time. And I used to go in there with a garbage bag and pick everything up, bring it downstairs, wash it. And then I had a room that I used to put these clothes in and lock it. So they couldn't get these clothes that I had picked up. Because if I went in the room and picked up, then it was like the clothes were lost for a while. Then they would come down and they'd say, I can't find this and I can't find that. And I says, well, did you clean your room? And so they would go back up and they would clean the room again. And when they get it cleaned to my satisfaction, which is was pretty, clean. pretty clean, yeah. I would give them their basket of clothes back. And I'd say, oh, maybe it's in this. And then they had to we would go upstairs and make sure that they put them away and didn't just throw them onto the floor again because I didn't want the floor covered. Well, Paige's room was covered with clothes. And so we went up there and we hung a lot of stuff up. And I said, anything that's dirty, I want you to put it in your dirty laundry basket. She has a laundry basket right there. All she has to do is put it in. And um, <clears throat> she had her camping stuff still packed. And I said, what is this? And she goes, oh, that's my camping stuff. I says, are you going camping? She goes, no. And I said, well, we have to put this stuff away. So we put it away and we got her room all nice and clean. So we did that. Then I decided I should go home. So I went home. And while I was home, I thought, gosh, maybe I should go back and see what they're doing. So in the meantime, their mom had come home at noon and everything was looking good. And then I went back around 1.30, somewhere in there. I think it was, I went back, I don't know what time it was, but it was, it was later in the afternoon, and I'm sure they were shocked to see me, and my one granddaughter, or grand person, said to me that I should go home, because I'm very strict, and she says, and I don't need a babysitter, and I said, I'm not here to babysit, I'm just here, and if, and strictness, that's me, I, I will um, leave you alone if you do what I ask, but you got to do what I ask. And all I wanted her, this person to do was to take the dish and scrape the food off and put the dish in the dishwasher. Well, about an hour later, I said to this person, I says, your dish is still waiting for you. And my um, grandson sarcastically says, dishes can't wait. There. And I says, yes, they can. It's still in the kitchen. And it's waiting to be taken care of. And the person says, it's an inanimate object. It can't be 
can't wait. And I says, yes, it can. It's still waiting. It's still out there waiting for you. So then um, Paige wanted to eat. They hadn't had their lunch yet, and it was really late. So she made some some um, tacos, soft-shell tacos, and she made one for her. She made one for her brother, and she made one for the person. So <laughs> that person thing is going to kill me. Yeah. Um, so, and she got hers and put it on a dish and got a dish for Kyle's and put his on a dish. And then um, I said, did you tell your person that her that it's ready and she said yeah she told told her told the person so i went and knocked on the door and i said your your taco is ready she goes or the person says i know and um i said well you have to can't leave it in the toaster oven and she thought she could and i said no there's meat in it you have to take it out and put it away or eat it so that person came into the kitchen and that's when i handed the dish over and said can you clean this off if you clean it off I will wash the dish and so I washed the dish and because she just uh, the person wanted to just get another clean dish I said no we're going to use this dish again so I washed it and dried it and put the taco on it then they went into the living room and I said oh no we don't eat in the living room we're going to eat and I said kitchen but they don't eat in the kitchen they eat in the dining room but I made a mistake, and so they, um, the person says, well, we're allowed to eat in here. We're just not allowed to sit on the couch when we eat. And I says, oh, no, no, no. I'm pretty sure your mama said that she didn't want anybody eating in the living room. You were supposed to eat at the table. So the two younger ones went to the table, and the person went to her, went to the person's room. And then I was, it was, I must have, stayed another oh I don't know maybe another hour it was late and I saw the this is all about my <laughs> dehydrating <laughs> and I saw the apples and the oranges that were getting pretty old and I put I so I said to Paige I'll put these in a bag and I'll take them with me and so I I put them in a bag and then before I left I knocked on the person's door and said I'm gonna go now and um, are you done with your dish? Because if you are, I'll take it and I'll take care of it. Well, the person wasn't done. And then she said that she wanted, the person said they wanted me to leave because I'm just too strict and I demand too much and I'm pretty bossy. Well, I said, that's me. I said, and you're lucky it's me and not Mama Bertha because Mama Bertha was even stricter and you would have never, never, never dreamed of contradicting her or talking back to her or anything she would have never tolerated it and um i'm i'm like my mom was strict i'm strict my daughter is more lax so she's got the better end of the deal but she's but but <laughs> they have to deal with me every now and then and um so i brought the apples and the oranges home cut them up and put them in the dehydrator as you saw in the little video that i put in <laughs> that's what it was about and the people that are dehydrating is Peggy and Andy from Page Family Homestead Our Journey Back and also Michelle and um, from Real Life with Michelle and Rob they're doing dehydrating I don't know who else is I haven't checked anybody else's but I do know they are and Voon is and I have but I'm not on their list because uh, my my dehydrating is just sporadic. I'm just doing it because I wanted to do it, not because I'm part of their little collab. I just am doing it. And you won't see mine until maybe tomorrow you'll see the finished product because it's not going to be done today. It's going to have to go for a lot of hours. I don't know how long. I've never done fruit before, but this ought to be interesting. So that's my video. <laughs> I guess I'm done. I hope you all had a great day. I did. I'm going to rest really good tonight. And I will talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.